Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona today at our Second Swing Scottsdale store. I'm with Chris Curley, one of the master club fitters here. How's it going, Chris? Very good. Thanks for taking some time out of your schedule to, to work with us today. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to have you down here. So as a club fitter and, of course, Second Swing known for club fitting, right. there's a lot of tools at your disposal. But one that a lot of people may not know about is gears. Right. And we went through a little display earlier, but I wanted you to talk a little bit about gears, how it works, and what some of the benefits are to you as a fitter, and then in turn to the golfer. Yeah, so gears is really on the cutting edge as far as technology that I can use as a club fitter to help golfers get better. Uh, gears, the technology that um, runs gears is developed by, it came out of Hollywood, so a lot of the special effects you see in movies, um, video games, it's the same technology that they used to develop all that stuff. It's these cameras that are all around us here. Uh, we use these, these clubs here with sensors, okay? And it gives us a really accurate depiction of what you're doing with the golf club during your golf swing. Yeah, and what was interesting is, you know, like you mentioned, sort of 3D animation. Yeah. You can see exactly what's going on with the shaft and with the club face right. in addition to the ball data that you would get from other monitors. Right. You know, so for us, it's, it's really useful because it doesn't have to be endless swings. If I use five swings on gears, it gives me that MRI of your golf swing. And it tells me we're hitting in the face exactly, down to 0.3 millimeters. It tells me exactly what's happening with the shaft, where it's bending, how it's bending throughout your golf swing. So a few swings on gears, and then I can make an educated guess. And we don't have to hit 50 different shafts in a fitting to get you in the right setup with the driver. You know, I think we talked about this off camera. At a certain point, if you've hit too many shots in a fitting, the data becomes almost irrelevant. Yeah, we, we see with most golfers, it's about 25 swings. Yeah. You know, you get by, by 25 swings, and I don't care if it's you, me, or Rory McIlroy. You know, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna break a sweat, and we're not gonna get really good data. So if we're hitting 100 shafts, you know, you could hit num the right shaft at uh, shot number 99, and you know, you might not even know you're you're spent. You know, you right? Could, Terrible numbers. Yeah. yeah. So with gears, you know, those five swings, I can figure out what you do with a golf club and what you do uniquely, and then I can you know sort through that endless uh, assortment of shafts to find you know not only the right shaft but the right head, all those different characteristics that really come together and make a good fit. Yeah. So from a from the data that you get from gears, mm -hmm. what are maybe one or two of the most crucial that help you make sort of that determination. Okay, the for, so face mapping. Where exactly you hit it in the face. You know, ideally we all want to hit it in the center of the face. So that's one of the first things I'm, I'm going to look at is how large a spread you're across the face and where that pattern is on the face of the golf club. That's going to help me determine shaft length. You know, most shafts these days are right around that 45 mark. We're even seeing shafts going a little longer, 45, mm -hmm. even 46 inches. Frankly, that's too long for most golfers. So if I'm on the heel side of the club, well, it might be that that shaft is just too long and it's reaching out too far. So you can make that shaft a little shorter. A little shorter shaft has a little more control. So it'll move that pattern and tighten it up across the face. So depending on, again, what we see in that, in that short sample, we can make a really good estimate on what would be a really good length for you as a golfer. Um, the other thing is selecting the right flex and weight of shaft. And that's where we use some of the other metrics that gears measures, the amount that the shaft is bending downward and forward to really dial in on what that right weight and flex is. Yeah, now one of the things we also did is I actually went through the process, sort of an initial fitting. Right. I hit five balls with sort of a, just a yep. standard driver to, as a baseline of information. Beautiful. You were able to get, based on those numbers, something that would maybe fit for me. And with you grabbing one head and one shaft, I saw 19 yards additional carry. Right. 26 additional yards of total distance. Right. So there's something to this. Yeah, that was five swings, and we got there in about, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. You know, so it wasn't, you know, out on a range dripping sweat. And, you know, I'm really confident based on those numbers, we are right on the money on getting you into what's an ideal fit. Yeah, and the thing I want to point out, too, is what was interesting about me in particular, and you talked about this in terms of what's going on with the shaft and, and more specifically shaft deflection, yeah. shaft droop. Right. That was something you keyed on it immediately with me. And mm -hmm. even though I'm somebody who swings... 97, 98, 99 miles an hour, based on the numbers you saw, you immediately knew that I should be in an X-flex shaft yeah. 
where a lot of, you know, fitters without your experience, without the technology we have at Second Swing, right. would automatically throw me in a stiff shaft or maybe even a, a firmer regular. Yeah. So I want to say it's, you know, it's not necessarily how fast you're swinging the golf club. It's where you're putting kind of the beans to it, where you're really afflicting that shaft. You know, some guys kind of snap the towel at the top. Other guys are more smooth, like Freddie Couples building down towards impact. So based on how you un uniquely swing the golf club, we can kind of, you know, select the right shaft, right head, all those things together um, to really find that performance. Yeah, I mean, Chris, it was an amazing display. And for you guys who are looking to get into the right driver, get into one of our stores get on gears you're going to learn a lot about what you need in terms of equipment and also about what's going on with your golf swing great information yeah. chris we appreciate it hey it's great having you out thanks yeah